you very much. We'll see you then. If you did any holiday shopping online, your email inbox is probably jammed with spam. Now wait until you hear what a cybersecurity expert says you're not supposed to do with those emails. Chris Arvatis joins us in the newsroom. Chris, we were pretty surprised to hear about this. Yeah, Nikki, so was I, and a little concerned because I can tell you it's something that I do with my email accounts, and I'll bet a lot of you probably do it too, but it could be risky. I would say if I get about 15 emails, four or five of those are spam. And for Lily Iserson, just like the rest of you, it can get annoying. It does, but I usually have an automatic filter set up, and I usually unsubscribe from emails if I sign up for certain shopping outlets. Who hasn't unsubscribed from those emails before, whether they be from a place you've never heard of or a legitimate business you've bought from? Rick Mislin teaches cybersecurity at RIT and information systems courses at Nazareth College. He says it's best to think twice before clicking unsubscribe. Depending on who's sending it and how it's connected back to some central server, um, it could be legitimizing that email address. In other words, it's saying to them, yes, I've received an email and now I can use this to send more spam to. I think that makes sense, especially if it's a company that's trying to solicit certain information from you and it's kind of a more unscrupulous company. But if it's kind of more of a small fashion outlet or an art store online, then they're usually pretty good about genuinely unsubscribing you. This past holiday season, you spent a collective $91.7 billion online. And if you provided an email address, there's a good chance you're starting to see more spam creep into your inbox. Mislin says there's no easy solution, but here's what he suggests you do. So it's really tough. The best thing to do is just either mark it as junk and then add it to a block list and then delete it. More advice from the pros. Create an extra email address you use specifically for online purchases so that all of the spam can filter into one place. And whatever you do, do not respond to those spam messages, Mislin says. Nikki? Um, 